Hello, Jamie here from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you some watercoloring today and some snarky cards. So using the unicorn image from Grumpy Unicorn from the Ink Road Stamps, I stamped it on some watercolor cardstock from Hobby Lobby. It's an extremely heavyweight watercolor paper. Stamped it in clear nocturne ink. And then I heat set some clear embossing powder over the top. I am using Distress Black Soot Reinker to for the black in these images. Going over with my first layer, just laying down some color. Going back in with the second layer, laying down my shadows. I kind of knew what I wanted because I had done a bunch of these on some Express It cardstock and painted them or colored them with my Ohuhus and my natural blacks. And so I kind of knew where I wanted my shading and how I wanted them to look that kind of helped when I went in with the watercolor. And then being me, I like to save all the black. So I made some galaxy type backgrounds with my leftover ink. It goes forever that black. So now I'm going in with some um, aqua pigments from Brutus Monroe, sorry. The red, yellow, green, blue, and violet, those were the actual names of the colors I used. And then I went back with a pearl, I think it's the pearl one, yes, the pearl aqua pigment, and I added a drop of pearl to each one, so then once they dry they have that shimmer, mica shimmer to them. Mixing right on the unicorn as I'm painting to get that orange and then the blue green. If I add it, it depends. These ones I don't think show that that color mixing, but I did on some of the other ones. Go back in with different like gradient down. I used the gilded gold color from Brutus Monroe in their aqua pigments for the horn. And then just touching back up places that I left the ears I was going to do in pink and I just didn't like how it looked. So I went back in with a soft gray. Just picked up some water from my black background or some black ink from my black background and it was enough of a soft gray that it worked well. So I'm just going in with the leftovers here and splattering all the things to give them that rainbow splatter look. There's that black background. Clean that up. And I did end up, they do not have matching die cuts, I don't believe, at the ink road. So I did end up hand cutting. Um, if it wasn't such a heavyweight cardstock or watercolor paper, I probably would have put it in my brother's scan and cut and do them that way. Don't worry, I didn't get to do that for the other ones because... They bled when I did the black in some spots, so I had a hand cut on the line. I did trace around them with the black, um, a black marker to kind of shore up the edges there to hide that white when you're cutting them around. And you don't have to be as perfect <clears throat> when you do it that way with your cutting. So I just grounded it with some grays. Um, so Mr. Grumpy Unicorn has some ground to sit on. He has a little black cloud under him. I don't know. I did try to go with some white uh, sequins in there. Or confetti, I guess. And I just didn't like it. It didn't pop. And so then I took out my black crystal Nouveau drops. And I did like how those looked. I'm going to add a couple more here because you can never have enough. It's typical. Once I was done, you just smack it really hard. <laughs> well, okay, it feels like it's really hard on the table to kind of get them to settle out, to get the peaks down. They kind of flatten a little bit. And these are the other ones that I used. The other stamp, this, the text stamp set I used was called Bitch Please. Thanks for watching.